It's no secret that Japan harbors some pretty crazy food, or at least strange variations of westernized food. We've spoken about this at length in other videos, but we haven't really talked about the delicacies, the Japanese food that is bold, rare, and unbelievably expensive. Stay tuned until the end to see why a certain Japanese milk is priced at $43 a carton. Before we begin, like this video, subscribe to The Richest, and join our notification squad for more international delicacies. Your salivary glands won't regret it. Now here are 10 expensive luxury foods that you can buy in Japan. Square Watermelon Square watermelon is as Japanese as origami. This memorable trend of irregularly grown watermelons emerged in Japan in the 1970s and is now known the world over. Instead of growing watermelons in the fresh air so they attain their natural rounded shape, the watermelons are grown in glass boxes, thus becoming square. While this design was originally conceived for aesthetic purposes, retailers quickly realized the practical value of square watermelons, as such a design makes it possible to easily store said watermelons in your fridge. There is a drawback, however. The boxes stunt their growth so that they're not as ripe as watermelons are supposed to be, thus they can be quite flavorless. Despite this very unappealing fact, square watermelons are some of the world's most expensive fruits. A single cubic watermelon sells for between $125 and $800. Though square watermelons were for a long time a Japanese exclusive, they can now be found in many countries. Foreigners are eager to buy the novelty fruit, but not for its taste. Reviews are overwhelmingly negative. Toro We've all had tuna, but not tuna quite like this. Toro is a cut of meat from the thick and soft belly of the bluefin tuna. The best pieces are harvested closer to the head, and a single strip of this delicacy usually costs about $24. Toro is sold in upscale Japanese sushi restaurants, and the tiny fillet is usually the highest priced item on the menu. Like it should be, Toro's taste is responsible for its ridiculous cost. It has been described as melting in one's mouth, which is high praise for a piece of tuna. No mayonnaise or celery is needed, neither is rice or seaweed. Toro is so good that it is served on its own as simple sashimi. It may be sliced in fine strips, with each strip costing $20 plus dollars, equaling over 100 bucks for the full low-calorie meal. Ruby Roman Grapes the Ishikawa Prefecture is a tiny region of Japan located on Honshu Island. Along with being a cultural and artistic hub, Ishikawa is known for its warm climate and rich soil, which combine to produce what is arguably the world's most expensive grape. Ruby Roman grapes are grown nowhere else in the world and reach the size of ping pong balls. They were introduced in 2008 as a premium grape, and harvesters take this distinction seriously. Each individual grape is thoroughly inspected to meet the gold standard of grapes, whatever that may be. When the grapes first debuted, the price for a bunch was $910, or $26 a grape. But as the years went by and fewer bunches were granted premium classification, the cost skyrocketed. For instance, in 2010, only six bunches met the premium standard, and by 2013, only one bunch earned this title, which later sold for $4,000. In 2016, a bunch of Ruby Romans yielded 11000 which is the highest price ever paid for these tasty grapes. With 30 grapes in the bunch, the cost of a single grape was $366. Fugu what would a video of Japanese cuisine be without showing something really unusual? Fugu is pufferfish, which as you may know is extremely poisonous. This makes fugu a very strange delicacy, but one that can cost you $200 at a Japanese restaurant. Being highly toxic when eaten, fugu has to be prepared in a specific way so as not to poison its consumers. The preparation is so regimented that it's controlled by law. Only government-certified chefs are allowed to serve fugu to the public, and certification happens only by completing more than two years of specialized training. But the trick for these chefs is not to remove all the poison. 
this would be counterproductive. They must remove enough poison to avoid causing sickness, but retain enough to produce in the mouths of their patrons the patented numbing and tingling that makes fugu a delicacy. That's right, fugu's appeal has little to do with taste, but lots to do with toxicity. Perhaps those who found themselves hospitalized or deceased after eating fugu were surprised, but they shouldn't have been. Envenomations happen several times a year, although they're usually a result of amateur preparation, not the steady hand of licensed fugu chefs. Densuke Black Watermelon Japan sure loves its watermelon, and the weirder it is, the better. Or so it seems, considering that along with square watermelon, Japan produces black watermelon solid black watermelon. Grown on the island of Hokkaido, the Densuke black watermelon is one of the rarest but also one of the tastiest melons in the world. The infamous black rind contains extra red flesh that is said to be significantly sweeter than regular watermelons. Only a limited number are grown, no more than 10,000 a year, so the people who line up to eat this delicacy are willing to pay a pretty penny. The going retail price is over $125. Individual densukes regularly fetch upwards of $1,000 at auction, and one, a 17-pound specimen, sold for $6,100 in 2008. Employees at the Toronto Star did a blind taste comparison between a $200 densuke and a regular watermelon, and roughly half of them preferred the taste of the cheap green skin staple. Matsutake Mushrooms Unlike many of the previous delicacies, matsutake aren't exclusive to Japan. They actually occur naturally in countries ranging from Japan, South Korea, and China, to Finland, Norway, and Poland, to Canada and the United States. With such a wide territory, you would think that matsutake would be a dime a dozen, but not in Japan. The Japanese matsutake population has dwindled in recent years because of disease, predation, and over-harvesting. This decline, combined with its specialized growing requirements, make it so that less than 1,000 tons of matsutake are harvested in Japan each year. A pound of matsutake mushrooms can cost you $2,000. Of course, this is when the market is at its worst. You can get matsutake mushrooms worldwide and at a reasonable price, but you may have to splurge for that authentic Japanese flavor. Torigai Another Japanese sushi staple, torigai, is the name of prepared cockle. Cockle is a species of bivalve mollusk in the same class as clams and oysters, which can be found in shallow coastal water all over the world. It is the egg cockle, which is named for the egg-like appearance of its shell, that is harvested to make torigai, one of the rarest and most expensive items in Japanese sushi culture. The cockle has to be served fresh because a little bit of time is all it takes to drastically change the animal's flavor. This means that torigai is sold only at certain times and at certain restaurants, so you have to be extremely lucky to find the dish. In fact, unless you're visiting Japan between April and May, it may be impossible to get one's hands on torigai, considering that egg cockles are hard to find during all other seasons. The preparation of cockle is also very perilous, considering all it takes to ruin the meat is boiling it in the wrong water. Kobe beef Perhaps the most famous Japanese food is Kobe beef. The plum flavorful steak was made famous by Kobe Bryant, who was given the name after his parents saw the beef on a Japanese restaurant menu. Though the beef is a Japanese icon, known colloquially as Wagyu, the exportation of Kobe beef only began in 2012. This means that if you live in a country other than Japan and you thought you had Kobe steak before 2012, you're wrong. Another way to tell that your Kobe was a fake Kobe is if you didn't pay hundreds of dollars for it. Yes, true Kobe beef, which means it was cut from a specific strain of Japanese black cattle, can cost as much as $50 for 100 grams. When Costco received its first supply of genuine Wagyu, they charged $109 per pound, but you had to purchase a minimum of 11 pounds. You may be wondering how a steak could be worth this amount, but beef aficionados swear by the flavor. Yubari King Melon 
Here's yet another expensive Japanese melon. In fact, it's a hybrid between two distinct species of cantaloupe, which is one of the reasons why the Yubari King is so valuable. Another reason is its taste and texture. This king of melons is known for its near-perfect roundness and smoothness, unparalleled among melons, and its sweetness which is comparable to the Densuke black watermelon. An average yubari sells for $50 to $100, but like other Japanese fruits, premium specimens can fetch a ridiculous amount at auction. In May 2018, a pair of yubari king melons sold for over $29,000. While we can't be sure that this is a record, we can't imagine anyone paying more for a pair of melons. Nakazawa Milk Nakazawa Milk, produced by the Nakazawa Food Company, cost $43 a carton. You heard us right, this very bold and very crazy company prices milk way higher than the grocery store standard. If you're thinking that this is the milk from Kobe cows, you're sadly mistaken. Nakazawa Milk is priced so high because of its supposed healing properties. Get a load of this. According to the company Mandate, Nakazawa milk is harvested only once a week and precisely at dawn. Apparently, it's at dawn when cows produce the most melatonin, which is a hormone responsible for regulating your sleep cycle. Therefore, it follows that the more melatonin in the milk, the more melatonin in the people drinking the milk, who will benefit greatly from the additional hormones. This means that Nakazawa milk will help you de-stress and sleep better, thus justifying its cost. While we'll have to wait on the science to determine the truth of the company's claim, we'd err on the side of seeking actual sleep advice rather than drinking loads of really expensive and allegedly magical milk. That's all for 10 expensive luxury foods that you can buy in Japan. Have you tried any of these Japanese foods? Would you like to? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to The Riches for more awesome videos every day.